Follow along as I set up the Maslow 4. You can see that I have my laptop and the machines on. I'm going to navigate to the maslow.local on my browser, click Setup in the upper right, and Retract All. You'll get a message on the lower right that each belt has been pulled tight, then click Extend All. Once you click that, you're going to have to pull out the belts one by one, or in my case, I like to do two at a time. You have to release the belts with a rocking motion, which can actually take a little bit of force. So just be prepared that they might be a little sticky at first. And as you uh, extend all more, it should get easier. Once the belts are extended, just spread them out so they're not tangled and start on the other side. You'll only need to press that extend all button once and it'll wait until each belt is extended. Now the belts are going to extend to a length that is just slightly longer than the distance from the center position to each anchor. So they might extend a different amount. Once they're all pulled out, you can uh, attach each of the belt ends to the corresponding anchor. Make sure when you're doing this that the belts are not twisted. I like to grab from the center and pull them outwards, then click Apply Tension. You can see here that each belt will retract in one at a time so that the Maslow will move around until it's at the center point of your coordinate system. And then when everything is tensioned correctly, you should be able to test each belt just a little bit. You'll get a feel for what is a proper amount of tension. And you'll also get this message that your coordinate system is accurate. Then what I like to do is drive or jog the Maslow around just a little bit in a circle. I sped this part up just as a test. And then you're good to go.